My given name is Tom Bukovac from Cleveland, Ohio, uh, Sagittarius, likes long walks on the beach. So yeah, just checking in guys, it's been a while. I know it's uh, it's been lonely around these parts. Uh, thanks for all the kind words about that little jam I put up a couple days ago where I was plunking on the old 335. That was a lot of fun. Hey, you know what one of my favorite sounds is in the whole world? This sound. You, know, you get a nice callus there on the hand from opening these bottles, you know. Cheers, folks. Uh, yeah, thanks for for hanging around. And hope everybody's been doing great. I've uh, been working. Man, I've been working a lot. I had uh, last two weeks have been just straight sessions. Uh, I spent three days over in East Nashville working with my old buddy Randall Bramlett. Man, what a cool dude. Uh, we had such a great time. Three days of tracking his songs and Steve Mackey on bass and my old buddy Jerry Hansen on the drums is a fantastic drummer. And uh, we had so much fun. It was it was really cool. Uh, you know, it does the soul good, you know, when you're playing really fun, cool music. And um, I worked with Julian Raymond, my old buddy, for a couple of days producing a young uh, hit songwriter guy named Graylin James. And then I... Today, I was at this place called Compass Studio, which I haven't been to in ages, working with an Australian fellow named Christian. But I don't remember his last name. I, I never did told me, but he was great. So we're having some fun. And um, yeah, I just wanted to check in a little bit. And uh, uh, you know, got a pretty important announcement here for you. Um, that thing we've been working on for ages, getting that live video together is finally happening. Um, remember the the gig I did at Third and Lindsley for my birthday. And um, it was it was originally streamed by a company called Volume. And uh, I had it remixed from the original show files by my old buddy Steve Marcantonio, who we love, and uh, repackaged. You know, a guy named David McLeod did the website. And check it out. Check out thesessionman.com. It's a new website that David put together for me. And uh, basically, just as a host, so we could um, sell the video. It's going to be fourteen ninety nine for like I think it's like seventy five minutes or something like that. And it's the original live performance. Um, I left everything in there, all the clams, you know, all the original stuff from the show. I didn't fix anything. Um, there's a couple of moments. It's a pretty high quality video. Uh, they did a great job filming it. But there's a couple moments where the video glitches a bit. The audio is fine, but uh, don't adjust your set. It's just a couple times it happens. It's not a big deal. But I just left it in there. And it's like, uh, I like keeping stuff raw, you know, the, the spirit of live performance. But so check out, it's not, it's not available quite yet. We're waiting on one last piece of the puzzle, but it should be up in the next day or two. 
So go to thesessionman.com and you can, David put up all kind of very clear links to where you can buy the downloadable, um, um, you know, it's just a, basically a download that you buy. So um, check that out. There's a couple of uh, photos up there on the site. You know, it's, we're starting of putting it together. You know, I never had a website before. It's very exciting. And um, the Guthrie record is, speaking of, with the cool shirt um, that he made for his live shows, which is also available at Drew's uh, Guitar House of Tulsa site. Um, that album is really close. I mean, I know I've been saying that, but, but we had a mixed master. Mastering just came back today, and we've got a guy making the, the same guy that uh, did the, uh, the Guthrie's design, did a beautiful cover. It's going to be called Guthrie, Trap, and Tom Bugavac in Stereo is the name of the album. And uh, it's like 11, 12 songs or something like that. And uh, that should be coming real soon. We'll put that on Bandcamp and all the other um, streaming sites and make some hard copies, uh, CDs for... Maybe even do some vinyl if we can. Um, but uh, that should be coming very shortly. So check out the, you know, the Session Man website. Uh, I got the new corporate eye here. So let's see if we can get to some questions. Um, I'm going to go to my latest video here. Um, see if there's any good questions on here that we can do. Let's see. Beach music. Um, uh, everyone says, yeah, it sounds like Jeff Beck, you know, because it's got the six minor to a flat, to, to you know, six minor to a uh, four dominant seven, which has, you know, also been in a million other songs, you know, but that's a moody change, you know, when you got, it's a really fun to solo over where you got a, you know, like if you're in the key of F, right, and you go to the six minor, six D minor to B flat seven, which is basically all that loop was, just two chords back and forth, but, um, uh, let's see what people wrote here. Um, let's see. One guy said, Hey, Tom, I've decided that I like you. Ha, sorry. I've been a musician my whole life since 12. First paid gig 58 years later. Health issues. Can't gig anymore. Truth, you seem cocky at first, but now my brain is kicked in. I really dig your show and you are genuine. Cool. I'm a subscriber. I even hit the like button. Keep it up, bud. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, I'm kind of like that too. You know, it, it takes me a minute to to decide if I like something or not. You know, I have to sort of feel it out for a while. You know, um, some of my best pals in this in this world, people that I really like a lot, I was sort of iffy about at first. You know, they they kind of grow on you. Um, but man, it just takes a minute to you know to figure people out, and figure things out, but. Thanks for saying that, man. I appreciate it. I'm kind of on the fence about you, but you know, I'm glad. I'm glad you're coming around. Um, let's see. That was the guy said you were definitely playing in the moment. Thanks for sharing, man. What else is there? What else is there? You guys recognize that little tune I was playing up front? I know you guys know that song. Deep album cut by uh, Gordon Sumner. Tea in the Sahara, which is uh, I listened to this morning with the boys in the car. And uh, I was blown away once again by his lyrics. I mean, dig the lyrics to that song, T in the Sahara. It's off the Synchronicity album. That boy had a way, has a way with, with turning a phrase. It's just beautiful. I'm a lifelong police fan and will always be. Uh, I just have always loved those records. And it's really cool to see my kids are really starting to get into the police. Um, Marshall's favorite one is Invisible Sun. And uh, Leo really likes uh, Don't Stand So Close To Me. We're, our police catalog is really, we know a lot of police songs. And uh, man, there's just there's such great stuff. Um, one guy said, uh, those bends, you know, uh, when I was doing that stuff, like, you know, you know, that's, that's cool stuff. If you got, you know, you don't have to stop with a half step or a whole step, you know. 
you got you know you got other shit there. You got you can go. two whole steps you know on a good bend if you get get your fingers close together don't bend like this where your fingers are separated push them together whether you're using your ring finger or your little finger push them close together so you can get a lot of power see what i'm saying talked to him in ages we used to hang a little bit back when he'd come to nashville i've always been a big fan you guys know duke from philly uh amazing guitar player he's playing with uh he's playing with uh, bonnie Rhett now and um uh, it was really cool he just reached out to check in and say hey man is this still your email and we were chatting you know catching up a little bit uh man what a player have you seen some of the stuff that he's got on YouTube where he's playing with that orchestra, with that amazing lap steel guy. I'll put a, I'll put a link up uh, to a video I watched that blew my mind. He's, he's a badass, man. Duke is very cool. Maybe one day him and I will do a couple tunes together, you know, have a little, make a little, you know, a couple, couple songs. That'd be fun. I would love to work with him, you know. But, uh, yeah, so just check out that website, um, thesessionman.com. Give it a day or two. And uh, let us pray that everything goes good with the technology. And um, stay tuned real close for the uh, Guthrie record that should be coming any minute. And uh, Lord knows what will go along with that. Maybe we'll have a little listening party, you know, uh, somewhere, do something like that. But keep playing, keep practicing, and uh, listen to records, man. Listen to a lot of great records. And... Uh, Get a turntable, put it right next to where you mess around on your computer all day. And while you're, you know, looking at stuff, you can just play some cool old records and it just seeps in the background and goes in through osmosis and then you retain that stuff. Um, I highly recommend the Pete Townsend record, uh, All the Best Cowboys Have Chinese Eyes. I've been obsessing over that lately. Um, I've, I've, I've always loved that record. 1982, uh... God, there is some cool stuff on there. Kind of a dumb title. Even he admitted all the best cowboys have Chinese eyes. But, man, there are songs on there that I just can't even believe. Like, Somebody Saved Me, North Country Girl, Slit Skirts, fucking Stardom and Acton. Oh, my God. Check that record out. It's pretty heavy. All right, guys. Peace out. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Have a good night.